So what is it like living here in the United States of America as a non-immigrant? It's going to be a roller coaster ride, but there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm so thankful that I was able to get my American dream. And aside from that, get my waiver through exceptional hardship with my US citizen spouse, now a green card holder. So let's discuss about that. Let's dive in and let the journey begin. Hello everyone, my name is Emery. I am so thankful that you are here today wanting to listen about life stories that we have here in the United States of America. I am from the Philippines and I was able to get here in the U.S. as a J-1 teacher with 212E rule that is a home residency requirement for two years. I am so blessed that I was able to teach here for four years with the kids and I am so happy that I was able to share the culture and tradition that we have in the Philippines because that what is it all about as a J1 teacher. It's so nice to share the culture that you have but knowing the hardship that you have to overcome as a J1 teacher not just with the papers that you have to go through but also the hurdles of having a lot of loans in order for you to come here in the US that's going to be a big problem right there but that what motivates me to keep going and do a lot of things now speaking of processing with your US application if you are looking for a hassle free visa application in going to the United States of America whether it could be a tourist or petition your family then you can always rely on to Filipino visa they are always there to help they have expert people that could help you with the process starting with your visa application also they could book your plane tickets book your hotels and giving you expert advice on how to do your process with ease. If I were you, I really highly recommend Filipino Visa. You can check the link in the description box and you will know more details in there. Helping our families in the Philippines is one of the reasons why we wanted to come here in the U.S. We even call it Manakikipag sa Palaran. Even though we feel like there's going to be a lot of problems, adjustments that you wanted to overcome, and a lot of culture shocks and cultural differences, but you always wanted to thrive and bloom where you are at. Now I am here in Florida, really wanting to thrive, having my own car, paid for car to be exact, but there are a lot of problems that I have overcome too that I'm so thankful that God is there. I have a Filipino community that helped me along the process and there are people that I could reach out anytime that I have problems and it's so nice to know that being a J1 teacher there is a chance for you to become a permanent resident here just like what I did. Becoming a J1 teacher again is another milestone then getting your waiver is a big one because your husband could help you petition and that is a way for you to adjust your status so this channel is really dedicated to help those j1 teachers that are seeking for a waiver because i did it myself and i don't hire any lawyers but then i got free consultation and some of them are paid hourly and we had done that in orlando florida but again it's not a guarantee if you hire a lawyer so i told myself having these problems with the hardship should be done by both me and my husband if you have your u.s citizen spouse you have to be very thankful because not just you found the love of your life but also you have the chance to stay here in the u.s legally and petition through 
Form I-130 with the USCIS is just one step and there are a lot of things that you have to figure out as well. Then you have to file as well the Form I-612 and the DS-335 if you wanted to get the waiver. There's nothing to be confused with the petition and the waiver because if not for the 212E rule to your home residency requirement, we shouldn't get any of these problems like getting a waiver. Before, it's so easy to get a no objection statement with the EVP or Exchange Visitor Program Committee in the Philippines, but now they have a new guidelines and it's so hard to get that. So we have things that we have to consider, not just getting the waiver, of course, you have to make sure you know the timeline. You also need to make sure that you have the right papers and always, always read not just the forms but the instructions. And after all of the agony of waiting for two years, if you get your waiver, it's so easy to adjust your status. Just make sure again all papers are in and you pay the right amount through money order, not through credit card or else they might not able to get that amount and they will just send you back your papers which is a waste of time and we don't want to do that. Now that I was able to get my waiver, then get my petition approved, and then adjust my status, I am now a legal permanent resident here in the United States of America with a 10-year green card. Once I surpass the three years or three to five years being a green card holder, I could file for the U.S. citizenship. That right there is really, really mind-blowing for me. I would have thought a girl from a small town in the Philippines, particularly in Negros Oriental, is now here in the United States of America, thriving, having a simple life with my husband, but now also helping my family back home little by little, and it's a dream come true for me. So how's my life here in the US? Happy, simple, and really wanted to influence my J1 teacher friends that is willing to learn on how to do their J-1 waiver through do-it-yourself process or any ideas that they wanted to ask. So this channel is free for everyone to comment or have their insights, ask questions, and be able to communicate. If you have gone to this part of the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel. That way we could communicate and share this to other aspiring Filipinos that wanted to be here in the United States of America. Life here in America is simple but there are a lot of perks because the freedom that the United States of America is giving us is really wonderful. You could see a lot of things that you could never see in our small place in the Philippines but of course, there's no place like home. We're just still thriving here and wanting to be part of the culture, be part of how immense, how beautiful the United States of America could offer, not just to their people, but of course, to non-immigrants or people that are thriving and wanted to contribute to the society and to the whole country. I am so thankful that I'm here in Florida and the weather is just like the Philippines and it's so nice to know that there is only like two season, dry and wet season, that then you could also feel the winter months and the fall but there's no snow so that's what I'm so thankful for and if you wanted to experience snow you can go to the north or you could go to places like Colorado which I been to and I'm so thankful that I had that experience. Living life here in the US is amazing, beautiful. If you know that you could thrive, help your family back home, 
don't hesitate to come here in the US or if you just wanted to visit and see how beautiful America is, don't forget to do your process with your visa application through Filipina Visa because they are there to help you and every questions you have is addressed and they are always there to help very reliable and highly recommended thank you so much for being here please don't forget to like subscribe and watch most of the videos that i have here hoping to help my other j1 friends and other people that wanted to thrive survive and have a good life here in the united states of america for all filipinos all over the world thank you so much and god bless you all